Okay, so a little while ago there was a Phoenix Suns open practice and a lot of people have been posting video on that open practice. So today I'm going to be breaking down some of their drills that they run so that you can also run these same drills with your basketball team. Let's get down and let's check these out. Really quickly, go check out my practice plans down in the description below. I know you're going to love them. Okay, so in this first drill, we're going to have two lines of basketball players. The basketball player in this line is going to pass to the first player in that line. That player is going to go and take a shot. Next, that same player who passed is going to curl, going to receive a pass from the first person in that line and he's going to go for a shot so basically this is what this one looks like on the clipboard so basically how we would set this up is with one line with the player at the front with the ball and then the other line will start with the ball as the second player so basically how we're going to start is player four is going to be cutting across he's going to receive that pass he's going to take that shot and he's going to then recover that missed or made shot and he's going to be passing it to the next player in line while all of that is happening player two is going to be cutting towards that elbow and he's going to be receiving the pass from player three. After he receives that pass, he's going to then take that shot, and then player three is then going to do the same thing, and it's almost like a weave. Almost exactly like a weave. Now in this drill, this player receives the pass, he's going to then pass to the player from a line up top over here, and then they're going to be running some screen and roll action. So after he makes that pass, he's going to then take that dribble handoff from that player he passed to, and that player is going to then cut towards the rim, and of course that player who received that ball, he's going to be setting up that player with a pass. Whether it be an alley-oop or not, it doesn't necessarily matter. Obviously if that player could dunk, go ahead and send it up, but this could be a nice easy bounce pass, this could be an alley-oop, this could be any kind of pass that you would like. How I would personally set this up is having two lines, and then I would have a coach who is active who can actually play defense, and then we can have a secondary coach in the key to disrupt this pass from happening so that we can make it as hard as possible for our guard who is of course setting up this pass. This is a fantastic drill altogether and you could even switch it up. Essentially the player in this line is the one who's going to be going in for that layup. The player from this line is going to be the one setting up that pass and then we can have one player who is playing defense. And basically how we could do this is the player who shoots becomes the defender, the player who is the defender becomes the passer, and then the passer moves over to be the screener and the shooter. So of course how we can set this up is the having these two lines and then either a coach or a player down in the key. Player 5 then of course cuts towards the middle of the key. Player 6 is going to be trying to shadow player 1. Player 1 is going to pass to player 5 and then they're going to do that dribble handoff. Player 1 is of course going to be attacking the basket. Player 5 is going to be coming off. Player 6 is going to be chasing one or both of these players, preferably player 1. One, because of course we would want to have potentially a coach in the middle trying to disrupt any pass here he could play a bit higher hoping for a bounce pass whatever it may be but we could have a coach in the middle trying to disrupt the pass as much as he can so that we can make it as hard as we can in case the game there the other team may be actually playing some pretty good defense and this actually teaches us some encore basketball movements that, of course, our players are going to be using the on the court as well. We could do this again, of course, with two lines, but a little bit differently. So we can have a player who cuts down towards the high post and then pops back up, where we can send in that pass to the high post. After that pass, here we can see with Devin Booker and Aiton, coming off of that screen or that dribble handoff, where now we can have this set up multiple different ways. We can go off that dribble handoff and Aiton would then roll towards the basket and it would be essentially two on one versus that defender. See how, I've, how they have two coaches set up for the defense? And then instead we can also re-screen so we can teach our players to re-screen after a screen and roll if it didn't initially work and of course finish with that layup. Now this was absolutely shoddy defense by that coach. I would personally be wanting my coaches or at least myself to be playing a bit better defense than that because of course they're going to be facing much better defense than a pylon. 
Even though we're coaches, we should still be trying to push our team if we're the ones who are playing defense on our players. Unless, of course, they're like six years old, it's much different. But if we're playing against, or at least if we're coaching 7th graders, 8th graders, 9th, 10, 11, 12, whatever age group they're at, we should still be trying to push our players to their max. Trying to have them really try to improve because the harder we make them work, whether it be with their brains or with their skill, the faster they're going to be improving. That's my own personal thought. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.